defend our, our country. We are on the streets and we are able to find solidarity expressions of people who are really, really moved and sad. And there are others who are really hope on the situation and these are, are, these are others who really wish that the president couldn't go out and overcome this, this difficult situation, but the vast majority of people support the man that is fighting this battle. But there are some others who said, why if president called the vice president, why he is not calling making a, a public phone call to clarify all the situation. I think that the vast majority of people, as it has been shown, the president has been facing a difficult situation, and the vast majority of people respect the decisions taken by the president in every single moment, and under these circumstances in which president need to respect and fulfill his medical treatment. He has to limit his public interventions. In the moment in which the medical team considers with President Chavez that he could make a public statement, he is going to do that because this man, Hugo Chavez, has the right to complete rest and our people understand that, that he is a human being and that we are following and supporting him and in addition I would like to say that on October 7th the people during the whole campaign but speci specifically on October 7th it was a clear message of President Chavez. The first, you are our leader, you are going to continue in front or in the head of our nation. And the second one is that your plan is approved by the vast majority. And the second, a lot of voices said that from little kids to really mature person. They suggest to the uh, president, take care of your health, President Chavez. And that's the voice that we hear today, respect to President Chavez. And when it comes the moment in which the recovery of President Chavez, as we said, with the blessing of God and the Virgin, we're going to listen to him and it's going to be a really good day full of joy. Until now, we have informed President Chavez and his family. There is a country that is following his instructions, really active, in order to invite him to take care of his health and to fulfill with his, with his medical treatment. Today, we held a meeting with all the cabinet, the minister Loyo, Osorio, Betancourt, and many other officials, and we established a plan to an offensive of provision of the national market, because we're having a problem with the floor and we are taking immediately actions and on Saturday, Sunday and Monday a lot of products of Pedeval that there are some problems with sugar and oil we are going to look for the hoard because we are going to face the hoarder and there is the where we have been receiving the support of the police and the armed forces with the different organisms with the different governors and the team of President Chavez working on the streets and listening to the critics from the people we welcome the critics from the people and their demands and we are going to work in order to assure that our president is calm and take his, his rest. We would like to be grateful with all, with Raul Chavez, with 
Todo este esfuerzo va with Raúl Castro y el expresidente ex Castro. Mire, vicepresidente, desde Estados Unidos, Vice President from the United States, they are talking about a transition in Venezuela. From there, there are some versions of that attempted to by the unity of the Chavist dirigence, political dirigence, specifically, specifically um, between you and our fellow partner, Diosdado Cabello. Some of them say that Diosdado was talking with the United States in order to harm you, and now they are appointing you that you are the one that is trying to harm Diosdado Cabello. Um, these are informations that has been spread all around the world and that people abroad could believe that the Chavez team is having fight, internal fights. And we are going to ratify this in front of the lies. We need to take the action of the truth and the demonstration of deeply brotherhood that we all have, all the ministers, all the leaders that are s we are supporting the President Chavez. In this specific case, they are trying to attack directly to me and the Jacobello, but in the next few days, they are going to attack another officials like Celia, like Ramirez. Are, we have been chosen as objective because they cannot say anything about us because we are loyal to President Chavez. And in addition, we are soldiers and fighters against the imperialism. And the empire knows that, and the people, our people knows that. We are fighting against this empire with all that our tools, with the truth, with the with our independence, with the unification of Latin America, the ABA, Petro Caribe, UNASUR, with the framework of the Bolivarian the dream of our of Simon Bolivar and that is an aspiration of the whole continent. This false accusation, they are going to be faced and defeated with our Bolivarian practice uh, supporting President Chávez. With the relationship of our country with the United States, we announced that effectively on um, the end of November, with the authorization of the President, our Ambassador Roy Charlton on the OAA held some conversations with some officials of the United States. We could say that these kind of conversations are normal in which we share cr different criteria of the status quo and we ratify the that we need that they respect the process of revolutionary process they ratify the criteria we have totally opposite criteria but we could continue working in this way. We have said that international relationships based on respect establish some conditions that in a very right moment could be normalized as is has been happening with other countries that we have differences but we maintain a diplomatic relationship. Roy Charlton has been trying with President Chavez and some officials has been of the United States have been trying to make false accusations and try to manipulate the information in the world. And we have been fighting this with the, our independence and the respect of our country. Sooner than later, and President Chavez has said that sooner than later, this nation that has recovered its independence and um, more than Venezuela, all Latin America and the Caribbean will reach a new kind of
relationship with the elites that has been governing the United States. We're going to, sooner than later, to achieve uh, put an end of the hegemony of the United States to all the countries around the world. It was a dream of Simón Bolívar. Are you attracted by the idea of being president? I think in Chávez as president. I never have this kind of ambition, personal or any other kind. I have been Ministry of Foreign Affairs because, because President Chávez appointed me to that function. But if he appoints me to drive a bus once again, I will do that. And we have, a, a fortunately, a very important leader with power. With Chávez, everything. Without Chávez, nothing. In order to finish, the Bolivarian Armed Forces, what is the position in this moment? What do you think about the officials of our armed forces? The bell struck nine here at the Caracas Cathedral. The Bolivarian Armed Forces is this new armed forces is one of the biggest success of President Chavez in this history of 14 years. President has achieved to a new armed forces with a new discipline, with a new cohesion, political, operational, with a great capacity of leadership in every single component, with a great spiritual union between his essential leaders. For instance, Major Wilmer Barriendo has many other commanders of every single component of the Navy, the Army, etc. 